welcome to our Google channel. Today, our topic is to teach you how to use and operate our IP656 kilowatt hybrid solar inverter. If you have known about our last videos from our YouTube, you can check first and come back to our the newest video now. Okay, let's back to this 6 kilowatt hybrid IP65 solar inverters. I want to show you what the display LCD will show and uh, what, how it works now. Okay, now we have connect with the one PV. For this one has the dual PV input and dual MPPT and we just connect with the one PV input and uh, connect with the grid also connect with our second Lord, also work with our Wi-Fi module, and connect with our CT to make it don't sell the electricity to the grid. For now, we have just to connect with this. And back to our LCD display, here shows the seven parts. First pass is for the PV. For now, we didn't turn on the PV, and the second is battery. The inverters and grid and home load, the setting and the warming. Okay, for now you have to see the PV parts. PV parts you will see all the details like a PV1, PV2. The PV3 is for our higher power like the 8 and the 10 and the 12 kilowatt has the 3 PV input. For this one only 2. So we'll see the yearly, monthly and the daily, hourly for the PV input. Okay, now I can switch on our PV. Let's just see the this. Now you can see here has the PV input and has the current floor to our inverters for our home load. So now our load is supplied by the PV and the grid where the mode is SUB mode. This is the PV parts. You can see all the details here. Monthly, daily, now. Here is our battery details. You can see the voltage, charging current, and discharge current, power, SOC, and so on. For now, we didn't connect with the battery yet. Home load. Also, you can see how many loads you have connected. And today, how many load together also has in your monthly daily for the load. Here is the details for the grid. For this is hybrid solar inverters, it also can sell the electricity to the grid. So here will show the sale today and sell total. If you have set the selling electricity to grid, so here will show all the details. But now we Set it in operate. For this inverters, we have the touch screen and the touch button. If you think the touch screen is, here has all the inverter states, like the temperature and the bus voltage, the state and the power. Here also is warming error page. If we have any error issues, here has all the history. This is the page of our LCD display. And here has the four lights. What well, shows the difference? Backup means it is, the load is supplied by the PV and the battery. And now here shows the grid light on. So means the load is supplied mainly for the grid line mode and the charging. If it is the solid on, means the battery charging is or finish. This is a fault. Also, you can set all the details according to our use menu. From here, setting page. It has the battery setting, word mode, pen of use, the grid setting, basic setting. For the work mode, as I said, you can set from the zero one setting, set from SUB, solar first, utility second, battery third, SBU. MKS and self use. This all the details you can check from our use menu and also can set the charging priority.
For this one, also support the Parallel Max 6 pieces. You can choose the Parallel pieces address and Parallel address and Parallel mode. For this, it's not only can parallel in single phase, you can also use three pieces or six pieces or more to parallel in three phase. This is the walk mode and the time of use. For some of customers, they want the inverters will charge by grid in like some night time or morning. You can set all the began time and end of time. Well, here, this is the big difference from our IP31 inverters, where you can set the time of use. A grid set. Here you can set if you want to sell the electricity to grid, then you can choose here, grid setting page, choose this feed grid enable, and set here. Yeah, this is how it is set for selling the electricity. Risk setting. All the details you can check from our use menu. History error. Okay, here is all the details of how to set up our IP656 kilowatt inverters and how to use. Still have any other questions, you can write down for our channel reviews and we will to update for you. Okay, so see you next time. Bye bye.